Hey, what's up, guys? We today I'm back with the Queen Pop Laloon attack again. Um, and this is the second highest base in the clan I just showed you. Uh, that was the Tesla moat. This is the or the diamond moat. This is the Tesla moat. So this one has the Tesla farm up top. Um, the good thing with this is it had its blowers facing down. And I kind of wanted to do an attack from the top anyway, so that works out fine. He also got his expos set to ground, which is great. And his air defenses aren't maxed out. So, I mean, case closed. I'm coming from the top. This should be pretty easy for me. This was a fresh hit. So I had to test the CC. Now the CC radius is pretty clear up top. Um, but I didn't want to kill one of those top air defenses. I wanted to make my triangle here so that the hounds, these two are far apart. So I knew this hound would automatically fly over there. Um, if I came from this direction, you know, and I killed this one first on accident, the hound might fly over here and the queen's left naked. So if I choose these two, this is a shorter distance. I know that hound's going there and then this hound will go there. So I create that perfect diamond or triangle kill zone for the queen. That means I have to pull from the bottom to test. I want to zap out that air defense, which means I have to kill a lot of these two and get all the way to that whiz tower in order to pull it. I don't think that would be a problem. You know, if I use two loons and maybe two loons easy enough, I might even get all three of those and who knows, maybe an extra defense. Um, Nothing pulls out. So I'm not too sure what he had. Maybe Hound, some Valks. Uh, maybe we'll figure it out in the middle of the attack. But it's pretty simple after there. Um, I come in with my Hounds real tight. Loon's real tight. And I come in with a next Hound over here, I believe, with some more Loon's. And here I actually save a Hound. So rather than having... I knew there was some deep, high DPS up here. Um, rather than having Hounds, these are low air defenses and maybe not pop i stick a hound i come in from the back side in order to come from behind this whiz tower so the whiz tower will face forward i can send loons in from behind and just place my haste right there that's a pretty short distance and i figured i'd have it all covered worked out perfect um i don't know i pretty much had all my troops left over at the end so we'll check it out come in and uh Throw my earthquake. You saw how I threw it. Set it on that whiz tower. Because I wanted to weaken all those defenses. Um, easier for my loons to kill them when I'm trying to pull it here. So you saw I came in on the cannon first. To turn that archer tower. Because I knew the whiz tower would be firing as well. Picked up black bomb there. Which is pretty good. Picked up another one and a red bomb. And another red bomb. So I am happy. And another black bomb. Nothing comes out. And I know now that I have cleared this base of so many bombs that I have to be careful. Might not provide enough DPS for what I'm trying to do. Now right here, people are asking, when do you lay your spells? So you can see it is about timing, guys. I get my loons in to where they're pretty much over the hound. All the defenses are firing on the hounds, and I'm watching right as my hound pops. First one popped right there. Boom, 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 boom. And my loons are over. I throw that rage in so that my loons will pass. Try to pass the pups so the pups are clear. And the pups can be killing in on the on the queen there. So there we go. Two hounds down. Pups are flying in. I come in with my next two hounds. I didn't even set my four hounds here because how weak this base is. Now I come in with a hound over here. Um, I meant to set three, two here and one here, but I kind of forgot in the middle of it. And I wanted one to come over here. I believe that might cause kind of a problem here. We'll wait and find out. Yeah. So the queen's down and I have two hounds alive. All my pups alive. Um, my heroes, now I just threw them in for the first time to start cleaning, but I still have two full hounds alive with everything down. So I lost a lot of pups on the cleanup that maybe I would have got if I had thrown them in further. 
but I played it as I went along, and it doesn't matter. I still had like 20-some loons there. Only lost two hounds in the entire attack. Didn't even use my heroes. And that's what I'm saying. This attack can be amazing. And people say, well, it's good if you know there's a hound in the CC. And I combat that with, you know what? Sometimes it's better when I have to pull. Because first of all, you take out that air defense, right? And then I came in and took out three more defenses with four loons. So that's four defenses total just to check the CC. And what else happened? I popped up three air bombs that weren't even involved in my attack. So I lost four loons for four defenses and four air bombs. That's pretty good, guys. And that's why I'm saying a lot of times, even if you don't know the CC, that could have been a dragon there. So what would have changed? Nothing. I would have cleared all those traps, all those defenses. Then I would have set my heroes way down here. Pulled the drag there and killed it. But I still had all that cleared and all that help only from testing the CC. And that's a bonus. So no matter what happens in your attack, no matter what you find or come across, this can be deadly from all angles. And I hope you guys are seeing that. I hope I'm explaining it right. I want you guys to succeed. Um, if you have any questions, ask me. You know, I've been talking to a lot of you. And... Uh, Press like and subscribe, check out Classroom Dynamics, check out my uh, bindle, my camcord, Tony the Great's camcord, whatever. I'm here for you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.